what today we got another class. And let's see. Waiting for everybody and it's time already. We hope they connect very soon. Hello, Anna. Hello, good night. Good evening. Cuando saludamos decimos good evening, Anna. Sí. <laughs> Ay, perdón. Perdón, es que vengo corriendo. Hi. Perdón, perdón. How are you? How are you? Bye. Ready for the class? Ahorita sí. You ready? Yes. Okay, that's good. That's You're ready, good. teacher, yes. Yes. That's excellent. Hey, look, Jennifer is also connecting right now. Hi. 
Hello, Jennifer. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Hi, teacher. Great. Hey. I'm here, here, waiting for everybody to connect. It's time already. Yes. It's time. Eight o'clock. Hey, days. There's Mayra connecting. Today we have a lot of work to do. Because today we are working with prepositions of time. Mayra, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, everybody. Hi, how are you? Fine. Ready for the class? Yes, I am ready. Excellent. That's great. That's the attitude. I like it. <laughs> es la actitud. You know, the attitude is half of it. La actitud realmente es la mitad de esto. Because if you got a good attitude, you are willing to learn. Está preparado para aprender. And this is, actually, this is easy. It's practice, practice, practice. If you notice, from the first class, I'm sure, I am completely sure, from the first class to today, you understand more now. Estoy seguro que la primera clase ahora entienden más. Yes. And that's because of practice. Jennifer says that, oh, Jennifer disconnected. What happened to her? Perhaps she had a problem. She got scared, la asustamos. It was your fault, Mayra. Hello? Fue culpa suya. It wasn't me. No. <laughs> hey, Andres, how are you? Oh, Andres is connecting. Hello, Andres. How are you tonight? Hi, teacher. Hi, everybody. Good evening. I'm fine. And you? I'm just great here. Nice. Why Ready? not? Uh, today, not so elegant. You, teacher. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Yesterday, because on Wednesdays, I, sometimes I have a meeting and I have to wear a tie. Ah, okay. Yeah. Actually, Wednesdays, I, uh, if I have that meeting, I usually wear a suit. Normalmente uso traje on Wednesdays. Ah, okay. Because I have a very formal meeting. Tengo una reunión muy seria. Nice. Yeah, yeah. more relaxed today. Yeah, you know, actually to be like with a suit, you know, with a jacket, tener un saco and be here like teaching, I mean, yeah, if you have noticed, I use a lot my hands. Y lo ha notado, yo uso mucho mis manos. Mm -hmm. And to be like restricted is like stressful. <laughs> yes. I mean, I have done it. I have done it in, in big trainings. Lo he hecho en capacitaciones grandes. But I'm standing up. Pero estoy de pie. Where uh -huh. It's easier. But... Like this, uh, more complex. You need to get used to it. You need to get used to it. I'll text it. Let's see. You tell me, usted me dice a mí, you need to get used to it. Okay. You need to get used to it. To get, get used. Uh -huh. Get used to. Get used. Eso es acostumbrarse. Uh -huh. Pero cuando lo hacemos con el verbo be, be used to, eso es tener la costumbre. So, in my case, you tell me, you need to get used to it. Actually, I am used to it. I am used to dress very formal. Yo estoy acostumbrado a vestirme muy formal. Uh -huh. So for me, it's not a big problem. The only difference is that sitting down, wearing a suit, 
es uh, pero estar sentado con traje for teaching a class I mean it's uncomfortable no es tan cómodo and as I tell you I need to move okay, okay. hey look there's Ileana hello Ileana how are you hello teacher I'm fine great I like when Ileana connects she's like getting ready like you know She's getting on the mood. That's es que me veo bien mechuda en la pantalla. Ah, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, we just clump a little bit. Solo nos peinamos un poco. That's Bye. it. <laughs> hey, Marcos. Hi, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Marcos. Great to see you. It's good to have you here early. Bueno tenerlo aquí tempranito. Thank you. So, yeah, yeah, that way you can take advantage of the class. You can take advantage. Hold on, I will fix it. Advantage of the class. That means aprovechar. Take advantage of the class to take advantage of the class. Yeah, if you are here early, you can take advantage of everything we are working on today. And today is going to be interesting. Actually, yesterday we were like looking a little bit at it. El día de ayer comenzamos a verlo un poquito. El on, in, at, pero lo vimos de una manera informal because I didn't show you the, the specific information. Today we are going to work more specifically on it. And we got, I got presentations prepared for you. I got three presentations. Let's hope the time is enough. Esperemos que el tiempo nos permita ver todo eso. We need to analyze from the manual pages. Let me tell you which pages. 35 and 36. We are going to work in the manual with pages 35 and 36. Vamos a trabajar del manual las páginas 35 y 36. So, many activities for today. I wonder where is the rest of the people. Let's see who is connecting. Ah. There's somebody who's saying that cannot connect. Just let me check that. Let's see who is it. Vicente. Vicente is in traffic right now and it's raining. Ouch, that's a problem. Let me just text him, please. Just a second. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just let me check a little something here. Okay. Hmm. Good evening. Jenny cannot connect. Good evening, Cesar. Good evening, Cesar. Just checking the ones who cannot connect. Oh, Jenny cannot connect. Vicente is on his way. And let's see, I got somebody here. That I don't know who is. Let me check. I don't know. It's 
not one of the numbers I got registered. Oh, Carlos cannot connect. That's bad. Hello, Cesar, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. And so tell me, Cesar, let's start with you. How was your day, mister? Well, I, I had a, a hard day. A hard day? Today is a hard day. I, I went to visit a client in, in uh, Soyapango City. Ouch. What part of Soyapango? Uh, yeah, in Sierra Morena. Oh, it, I know. And, uh, and the traffic is terrible today. Oh, yeah. Well, traffic has been like that for the last two weeks has been horrible. Las últimas yeah. dos semanas, the traffic has been terrible. And next week, oh my gosh, no. it's going to crash, va a colapsar. So next yeah. week, if you have to move to go to work, you need to go very early. Yes, yes. Yeah, because you have to, oh, you drive. You live in yes. La Cima. Yes. Yes, you have to drive. And traffic there is also interesting. Sí, sí, it, it, it's very hard. Yeah. Complicated. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. What about you, Mayra? Do you, are you working from home or you are traveling to work? I, I travel. Oh, really? Yes. So, how was traffic for you today? Terrible, terrible. Yeah, I can imagine, I can yes. imagine. Yes. At, I live yeah. of work yeah. at 5 p.m. Yeah. I arrive my house at 7.45. Ouch. <laughs> I arrive, arrive. Arrive, I, I arrive. Okay, yeah, I can. 7.45. Seven one hour and 45 minutes. Wow, yeah. terrible. Yes, Okay, yes. let's see. Yeah. What about you, Marcos? Do you yeah. travel? Hola, mi amor. Hi, teacher. Tell me, do you travel? Or, yes, you travel because you don't work in your house. Le toca viajar, ¿verdad? Yes. And do they give you transportation or do you drive or ride? Eh, in drive. Okay. Le toca manejar. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, how was traffic for you today? ¿Cómo estuvo el tráfico hoy? Uh, a the time, eh, a la hora que salí, estaba at the time, at the time I left, at the time my late, I left, I left, it was okay. The white, it was, it was okay. Perfect, thank you. Let's see, Ileana, are you traveling or are you still at home? No, teacher. No traveling? No. Cool. Excellent. That's nice. So you, you have not that pressure. When do you go back to work? Transporte de la empresa. Oh. The company's transportation. Great. Yes. Great. That's nice. What about you, Cesar? How long does it take you to get from your house to your job? Yes, yes. I, I go to... How long does it take uh, how you? How long? Yes. Ah, okay. In, in car, in 20 minutes. 
by car, well, by car. Ah, by car. It by car, takes me. It takes me twenty minutes. Okay. When when no has traffic. When, when there's no traffic. When there's no traffic. Okay. Okay, nice. Actually, next week we are going to work with there is, there are. Okay? Yes, okay. That's a topic for next week. La próxima semana vamos a tocar ese tema. Okay. okay. Andres is not traveling. Are you traveling, Andres? I am, I am not traveling. I am right with, with Cesar. I am riding. I am riding with Cesar. Okay. That's one way to say it. Or you can also say, uh, I catch, I catch a ride with, I catch a ride with, with, you see? I catch a ride with. That's the origin of the word. Uh, Esa es el origen de la expresión, dame ride. Okay, because you catch a ride. Or sometimes you see, oh, that's my ride, you say. That's my ride. Es con quien viajo. Okay. Or my transportation. That's the meaning of that. Imagine that you call for an Uber and the Uber is coming. You say, oh, that's my ride. You see, that's the origin of that. Okay, let's see. So, as I told you today, we are going to work with prepositions. And let me share with you the first one. Okay, let's see. We are going to work with this. Okay, just let me move this a little bit here so I can have everybody. Um, yes. Okay, let's see, prepositions. Prepositions of time. Today we are going to work with in, on, at. Okay, let's see. At. When do we use at? We use at when we are setting timetables. Timetables is agendas. Okay? When you are setting agendas, you use at. The bus leaves at 11.30. The lesson starts at 8.15. At. You can also use it when you are talking about the parts of the day. At dawn, al amanecer, dawn. Okay? At sunrise, cuando sale el sol. That's a crepusculo or caso. I'm not good at that in Spanish. I'm sorry. At sunset, en la puesta del sol. At midday, midday is the same as noon. Se recuerdan que les dije noon. That's the same. Midday. Okay. You see it here at noon. At, we use it when we talk about a part of the day, like uh, at midnight, it's another example of it. We have at night, okay? When we talk about that part of the day, do you remember from yesterday I told you? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, but when we talk about the last part of the day, we say at night, okay? At 
breakfast at lunch time at tea time or in our case we say at coffee time for us it's around 3 4 p.m yesterday we were talking about that at dinner time that's another way to express it okay now let's practice a little bit the ones we have seen so let's see Cesar what do you remember when do we use at in a part of the day okay please give me an example okay for example at down at midday okay. at midnight okay what about in a sentence okay in a sentence uh, Tomorrow I wake up at mid at noon. Oh, really? <laughs> That's great. Excellent. Just that you are talking in future. You have to say tomorrow I will. I will wake, wake up. up. Uh -huh. yeah, yes, yes, okay. so, yes. Or you tomorrow can... I will wake up. But if it's an habit, something that you do a routine, you say on um, Fridays, I wake up at noon. Okay. okay. Remember, we have been working with that, with the, with simple present, habits, routines, facts. Okay, let's see, Jennifer. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. Please activate your microphone. Hola. Hi. Hello. Oh, no hola in this class. Tell me, Jennifer. <laughs> uh, Please give me an example using at. At, at night. Okay, in a sentence, please. I go to sleep at night. Perfect, excellent. Yeah, that's great, that's great. It's different than Caesar. Caesar sleeps all morning, he says. <laughs> he should. Yes, Marco? I'm going to disconnect the cam wheel in have dinner. Okay, no problem, no problem. Enjoy this Thank fruit you. day. Okay, that's nice. Don't talk to me about dinner right now, man. Mm. Okay, let's see. And there's Anna. Hello, Anna. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Anna, what time do you go to sleep? At, at, at night. Okay, but at what time? At 10, at, at, at 11, at midnight? At, at 10. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Mayra, what about you? Tell me, what time do you go to sleep? I, I sleep at 10.30 p.m. I go to sleep. I go to sleep. I okay. am. No, I go to sleep. I go, I go to sleep. At 10.30. At 10.30. Remember, you can say, I go to sleep, or you can say, I go to sleep. Remember that the T... If a word ends in T and next one starts with a vowel, you pronounce the T as an R. Recuerden que si la palabra comienza con T y después viene otra palabra que comienza con vocal, unimos las dos palabras cuando las decimos, las unimos y la T se pronuncia como R. I go to sleep. Okay? Always remember that. It will make you sound better. Va a ser que se escuche mejor. Okay? So you say... I go to sleep at 10.30. Okay, let's see what about you, Andres. Andres looks like a late sleeper. What time do you go to sleep, Andres? Uh, I am asleep at uh, midnight. Okay, perfect. You can say that, you know. Podemos decirlo así. I am asleep, but you don't say I am asleep. We say, uh, let me see. We say, I am asleep. 
¿No queda? I am asleep. Dormido. Yo estoy dormido at midnight. Or you can say, I go to sleep. It's different. I go, I go to, sorry, I go to sleep. So as you can see, it's a little bit different. Now, let's see, what about you, Ileana? What time do you go to sleep? At, at um, 11 p.m. Oh, okay, Ileana, whole sentence, please. I go to sleep. I go to sleep 11 p.m. Okay, at 11 p.m. At 11 p.m. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to the presentation. Any question up to here? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No? We cool? Yes? Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Now, let's see. We are going to continue with at. We use at when we are talking about some festive periods. At Christmas. Do you like Christmas? Okay, in the case of Christmas, it's a little bit tricky, okay? Because you say, um, you know, uh, I will see you at Christmas. But most of the time for that, uh, if you are like speaking with someone, we use for, okay? Like you say, uh, we meet for Christmas. Or if I ask you, hey, tell me, Jennifer, oh. what do you do for Christmas? Okay? Uh, I cook the turkey. The turkey, do you like turkey? Yes. Mm. I like cook and I cook someone. <laughs> you cook someone? Oh my gosh. Yes. Cook. Cocino mucho ese día. Ah, Cocino. I cook a lot. Yes, I cook a lot. You scare me. If you say I, I cook someone, me está diciendo que cocinaba a alguien. <laughs> no. I was, I was scared. I was like, hey, hey, don't invite me, please. Por favor, no me invite, okay? Okay, nice, nice. I cook a lot. I cook a lot. Okay, tell me, what do you prefer? Um, no, sé, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, pero eh, panes con pollo o con pavo. Okay, este... oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, Stuff. Stuff. It means Stuff. relleno. O que lleva algo adentro. Okay? Stuff. Stuff. O, o, o hacemos asado de carne oh, de res. Really? Oh, that's costilla or chicken. Oh, nice. Ribs. Ribs. Costilla. Ribs. 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 Costilla. Okay. Now, you also cook beef. beef. Roast beef. beef. Oh, Roast beef. beef. Oh, Roast that's beef. nice. Yeah, a barbecue. Excellent. Yes. Great. Uh, now come in. Hoy si me anota, oye. Okay. Uh -huh. Just that, remember, mine has to be like my shirt. Rail. A mí me gusta así como mi camisa. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I remember. I, I want my beef that if I bite it, it goes moo. Si la muerdo todavía moo. Okay. Okay, yeah. thank you, thank you. And tell me, Jennifer, what at what time do your daughter goes to sleep for Christmas? For Christmas, my daughter go to, go to her sleep nine o'clock. Oh. Every day she... She goes to sleep 7.30 o'clock, 7.30 p.m. She goes, she goes, goes remember. She goes. Okay, perfect, thank you. Tell me, Cesar, where do you spend Christmas? Spend. Spend. 
Where do spend. you spend? It means, uh, well, Where actually, it means, it means gastar if you are talking oh. about money. But when you use it like location, it means donde pasa. Where do you spend oh, okay. Christmas? Uh, okay, I spend in three places. First at, in my house, at, at place. At three places. At three places. Okay. okay. Tell me. First in my house. Look at me. Uh, Look at me. First. 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 Okay. In my Perfect. house. Perfect. Uh, uh, luego, ¿cómo sería? Luego. Then. And then in the house of my, of my mother. Okay. You can say it. You can say it like this. Look. You can say, if you are like uh, talking like with people that you got trust, you stay in un ambiente de confianza, you can say, at my mom's. At my mom's. Okay. Yep. You can say, at my mom's. Um, okay. My, at my mom's. Okay. At uh, uh, later. Okay, perfect. In uh, my mother-in-law. Okay. Excellent. At my in-laws. At my in-laws. At my in-laws. Yes. The okay. in-laws, in-laws, son los parientes de su esposa. La familia política. Okay? Oh, okay. Your father-in-law, your mother-in-law, your brother-in-law, your sister-in-law. Estamos hablando suegro, suegra, cuñado, cuñada. Okay? Those okay. are the in-laws. Okay, nice. What about you, Eliana? Tell me. What do you, uh, where do you spend Christmas? In Christmas in my house. At home. In, at home in, at home suegros. At home. my in-laws. <laughs> at my in-laws. Come on, Ileana, you said it. Lo acabo de poner en el chat. At my in-laws. Stay with me. In-laws. Perfect. Excellent. So everybody go to your in-laws. In my case, we don't go to my in-laws. Actually, my in-laws live two blocks from here. You know, yo los tengo cerquita, two blocks. But we don't go there. We go to my sister or, yeah, we go to my sister. You can say it like that. If you say it like in my case, to my sisters, look at the sentence. If you say to my sisters, you don't need to say to my sister's house because the conversation is revolving about the houses. Como la conversación se está dando alrededor de las casas, no necesita decir to my sister's house. Because you know that we are talking about the houses. So we, I say to my sisters. In the case of sister, at my in-laws. Ileana also at my in-laws. You don't, you don't need to say at my in-laws house. And in your case, in your personal case, remember, you can say at home. At home is, if you say in my house, you refer to the structure. But when you say it, at home, you say it's more personal. It's más personal. It's like, sería similar a decir en mi hogar. Okay? So, I think that we spend it at home. That means with my family. Okay? If you say in my house, you refer strictly to the location. But when you say it at home, you refer to something that is very personal. Questions? No? Let's continue then. Okay, we were talking about Christmas. At Easter, oh, do you know what is Easter? 
Do you know what it's what's Easter? Pascua. Okay, and what's Pascua? How do we call it here? Semana Santa. Exactly that. Perfect. That's Easter. What we say here, Semana Santa. Don't get used to say the Holy Week. Because if you say the Holy Week, you are very, you are being like to, you are translating word by word. But the proper expression is Easter. So, let's see. Uh, tell me, Mayra, what do you do for Easter? I have the shirt. I go to church. I got this. Oh, nice, great. Do you go on the on the parades? Parades? Do you go? Yes, the parades. Yes, yes, I have the. Oh, okay. Yes, I go to. I go at. Parades. Parades. Okay, nice. Okay, let's see. Um, tell me, Anna, what do you cook for Easter? Que cocina en Semana Santa? What do you cook for Easter, Anna? Um, uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, uh, Fish, eh, ¿cómo se dice pescado envuelto en relleno de pescado? Se dice oh. fish. Stuff fish. fish. Hot. Hot, hot fish. Hot fish. fish. Hot fish. Oh, eh, no. Hot fish. Eh, torrejas. Oh, that's good. I mean. <laughs> great, great. Thank you, Ana. Let's see. Andres, tell me, what's, what do you eat at Easter? And I am eat uh, uh, I eat uh, I eat I eat torrejas. Okay, cool. And stuffed fish. Okay. And sweet uh, mango. No. No. Plátano and miel. Oh, plantain. Yes. Plantain and honey. 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 In honey. Okay. Plantain. That's platano. Plantain. Y la bebida, lo que lo acompaña, ¿cómo que se llama? Chilote. Uh, chilote. Oh. No for me. I don't like it. Sorry. No, teacher. Oh, man. Oh. No. It's no Salvadorian teacher. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I mean, for me, it's tough fish, and actually, I don't eat, I don't eat mangoes either. Tampoco como mango. Perhaps once a year, una vez al año, tops. I don't like. I also don't like tamales. I don't like tamales. Just sweet tamales, sugar tamales are the only. Uh -huh. Uh, Unlike the, the shipping con queso. <laughs> uh, I pass them, los paso, but it's not that I like. Okay, let's see, let's continue. Hello, Daniel, how are you? Oh, there's Julio also. Daniel, tell me, how are you tonight? Hi, teacher. How are you? How are you? Fine. I am great here. Glad to see you in class. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, what happens? I cannot check it. Okay, now let's continue with the presentation. Remember, we are talking not about food. El tema no es la comida. We are talking about the prepositions, but we got like excited talking about the food. And it's good that we have conversation, but let's go back. Okay, let's see. At Easter, at the weekend, when we talk about the weekend, we must, we can say at the weekend. Podemos decir at the weekend. 
but the most appropriate is on the weekend. Okay? Let's see. In. We use in for other parts of the day, remember. When we talk about the morning, or perhaps the afternoon, or the evening, say in. Because remember, if we talk about down, down, uh, sunrise, noon, midnight, we use at. But when we talk about morning, afternoon, evening, we use in. And actually, it's not just in. We say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Okay? So remember. If you are talking about sunrise, sunset, down, noon, midnight, at. If you talk about morning, afternoon, or evening, in. Okay? Is that clear? ¿Lo tenemos claro? Yeah. Remember, that rule is in stone. Esa es regla que está en piedra. Never changes. Okay? Let's continue. Okay, let's see. In again. When do we use in? Oh, when we talk about months, years, and centuries. Meses, años, y siglos, centurias, yeah, siglos. Okay? A little bit and I have it here okay perfect in September in a 1812 this is something very funny when we have a number like this we can divide it este lo podemos dividir cuando hablamos de los años así in 1812 or you can say in the year 1812, but you can say in the 1812, okay? In the 21st century, oh, right now we are in the 21st century, estamos en el siglo XXI, no? In the 21st century. Okay, but before we go to on, let's see. Cesar, tell me, when were you born? Which month? In October. Okay, perfect. Remember, I was born in October. Okay, I was born in October. Excellent. What about you, Andres? When were you born? ¿Qué significa born? Nació. Sí. Uh, uh, yeah, um, I, I was born. I was born in April. April. Perfect. April. Thank you. Almost in Easter. Great, great. What about you, Jennifer? When were you born? I was born in April. Oh, really? The same as Andres. What about you, Marcos? When were you born? I was born in August. August. Excellent. Daniel, what about you? When were you born, Daniel? I'm sorry, I don't hear you. Activate your microphone. Was for August. In August. Yes, August. Okay, say, I was born in August. I was born in August. Okay, if you want to be more specific, listen. I was born in December 17th, in my case. I was born in December 17. When were you born, Cesar? I was born in October 24. Perfect. What about you, Eliana? When were you born? I was born in April 8. In April 8. Okay. Julio, when were you born?
Oh, perhaps he cannot connect. Uh, let's see, what about you, Mayra? When were you born? I was born in March 5. Okay, now, when we are saying uh, these numbers, in English is different because you told me that you were born in Jennifer, May. In May, was that? Jennifer? No, April. Okay, April? 20, 20. Okay, 20. Mayra was born in? March 5. Okay, in March 5th. Okay? Because in English, you don't say, I was born el 5 de marzo. You say the 5th, el quinto día. March 5th. I was born in December 17th. Remember, please, and this is very important, that when you have, uh, as we, uh, Cesar was telling me a few minutes ago, first, you can see it in the chat? Yes. You have second. Then we have third. Okay. I'll give you a list of that. Please remind me tomorrow to bring you the list. Acuérdenme mañana de traerles la lista, okay? So you can watch it and take a screen so you can have it. Because when we say the numbers, we use them like that. When we are talking about the dates, cuando hablamos de fechas, actually it's not five, it's fifth. Okay? It's six, it's seven, eight. With the rest of the numbers, it's simple because they get TH at the end. El resto de los números es bien fácil porque llevan la TH al final. Eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth. 15th, 16th, 18th, 19th, como que llevar una Z al final, ok, 20th, now, the, the, when we say 21st, 22nd, 23rd, solo para primero, segundo y tercero cambia, the rest, TH, Okay, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 34th, 35th. So the rest don't change, okay? They don't change. Let's go back because let's go back to our topic. Regresemos a nuestro tema. Okay? Let's see. On. Okay, dates. I was born on the 22nd of June. Okay, this is British. This is British. That's why they put it like this. Este es británico, por eso lo ponen así. In American, is the other way around. Is I was born in June 22nd. What's the difference? And that's why I put it like, he, like this here. ¿Por qué se los pongo acá de esta manera? Because in American English, you say, I was born in December. Como dijo el mes primero, pongo in. Okay? I was born in December. 17. Pero si pongo el número primero, I was born on the 17th of December. ¿Ok? You see the difference? ¿Entendemos la diferencia? I'll switch into Spanish just for a second. Voy a cambiar al español solo un segundito. Se los puse de esta manera para que, eh, y veníamos con ese ejemplo para que quede claro. 
en algunas ocasiones, si se encuentran a una persona que hable inglés británico, les va a decir en ese orden. ¿Ok? Si se recuerdan, the first sentence I give you was, I was born in December 17th. ¿Ok? American English. British. I was born on 17th of December. Can you see it? ¿La podemos ver? The first one is American. The second one is British. Okay? So, in our case, which one are we going to use? ¿Cuál vamos a usar nosotros? The first, la primera, okay? Because mostly in international English, in el inglés internacional, the most spoken, you use in December 17th. ¿Por qué primero in y por qué en el segundo on? Porque en el primero estamos haciendo referencia al mes primero, in December, okay? En el segundo, como está haciendo referencia al número, entonces on, okay? Like, imagine your boss comes and tells Cesar, hey Cesar, I need you, your reports on, on the 30th. Necesito sus reportes para el 30, le dice. On the 30th. On. Hey Cesar, we are having a meeting, a general meeting of the whole company in September the 1st. It's different, you see? Como puse el mes primero, in. Questions? Preguntas? No questions? Okay. Teacher, teacher. Yes, o sea, only on and vocabulary in, in English, British. Utiliza on cuando pone el número primero. Ok. Si ponemos el mes primero, in. La manera de decir las fechas, primero el mes y luego el número, es americana. La manera de decir la fecha, primero el número y después el mes, es británica. ¿Ok? Also, the military use it like that. Los militares in the United States, they also use it like that. También la usan así. ¿Ok? They use it the other way, but the rest of the people, in December, in January. Let's continue. When else do we use on? Okay, when we talk about the days of the week. On Monday. On Friday evening. On weekdays. On Tuesday night. Okay, let me... Let's make Remember. The days of the week, on Monday, on Friday evening. That's a part of one day. As we are saying the day first, we use on. Okay? Remember, acá como estamos usando primero el día, on. Nos estamos refiriendo a una parte de este día. So, we use on. Si nos referimos solo a la parte del día, in the evening. But we are saying on Friday evening. On weekdays, los días de la semana. Weekdays are from Monday to Friday. Cuando usted dice weekdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. ¿Ok? On Tuesday night. Normalmente decimos at night, pero como acá nos estamos refiriendo en la noche del martes. In English, we refer to the day first. Nos referimos primero al día. You don't say on the night of Tuesday. You say, on Tuesday night. Okay? Let's continue. When else do we use on? Okay. Parts of the day with adjectives. On a cold winter morning. Estoy hablando de una parte del día, pero estoy poniendo adjetivos. On a cold winter morning. En una fría mañana de invierno. Okay? On a cold winter morning. 
on a dark rainy night on a dark rainy night en una oscura noche lluviosa on a hot summer afternoon en una calurosa tarde de verano okay now let's see on time you need to be here for the class on time tenemos que estar a tiempo on time you need to be here you are uh, Cesar is always in time for the class it means no late ok aclaro cuando usamos on time estamos hablando de en el momento establecido en la hora establecida cuando decimos in time quiere decir que no ha llegado retrasado no es tarde aún like uh, Vicente just connected Vicente se conectó hace unos minutos y me dice hey teacher can I connect and I say yes yeah, sure you are still in time ok now let's practice a little bit we have more to practice so let's see hi Vicente how are you uh, yes tell me uh, in time is a tiempo it's como yes. decir a tiempo. Yes, you can use it like that. Thanks. You're welcome. Vicente, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Very good. Very good. Great. Excellent. Yes. Tell me, Vicente, uh, at what time do you go to sleep? I go to sleep at... I go to sleep around 12 or 1 a.m. Okay, thank you very much. Perfect. Let's see, Mayra, tell me, <clears throat> at what time do you have dinner? I, I have dinner? The dinner at, at 7 for 7.45. Perfect, thank you. Cesar, tell me, when were you born? Excuse me? When were you born? When, when born? Yes, when were you born? Um, uh, I was born in December 17th. When were you born? Oh, okay, okay. I I was born in October 24th. Perfect. Excellent. Tell me, uh, Ileana, what do you do on Monday's morning? I I go to work. Monday. Yes, Monday morning. I go to work. Perfect, excellent. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Anna, tell me, what time do you have? Hello. What time do you have dinner? Repeat, please. At what time do you have dinner? Uh, I have dinner. I what? I what? Bon? No, su respuesta tiene que ser I have dinner. I have dinner. At? At? Y me dice la hora. I have dinner. I have dinner at seven. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's continue. Now, let's see. We have at the end of. Como hablamos de una parte B, decimos at. At the end of the day, at the end of the month. 
at the end of the year, okay? In the end, this is the opposite of at first. Como así? Okay. At the end of, in la parte final de. Okay, at the end of, in la parte final de. In the end, opposite of at first. In the end, al final, okay? In the end, we need to practice more vocabulary today. You see? I am not referring to parts of anything. No me estoy refiriendo a parte de nada. Estoy diciendo como opuesto de al inicio. I say, first, we need to work on vocabulary. Next. Second, we need to work and conversation. And in the end, we need to speak more. That's the way we use it, okay? Now, that's it, that's finished. Let me please take the attendance right now. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, I need a pen. And let's see who's here. Uh, Carlos Alberto, oh, he's absent. Okay, Maria, Mayra, Ileana, I'm sorry, Mayra. Present. Thank you, Mayra. Uh, Ana Maria Palacios. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maybelline Michelle, absent. Erika del Carmen. Hmm, she's not here. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Thank you. Jose Reinaldo, not here. Claudia Patricia. Hmm, she's having problems. She's working late. Andres Alberto Orellana. Present. Thank you. Cesar Humberto Lopez. Present. Thanks. Jenny Lisette. Oh, Jenny had problems. She was, she was at her job. Jose Ever Solis, not here. Vicente Alexander. Present. Thank you, Vicente. Daniel Arturo Montes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Lisette Valladares. Present. Thanks. Marcos Ivan Martinez. Present. Thanks. Crisia Madeline. No, she didn't appear. Maybelline Janira. Not here. Carla Yvonne. Mm, not here. Julio Alonso. It's right there. Oh, he's a present. Thank you, Julio. I read your chat. Julio tiene problemas con el micrófono. Perfect. Let's see. So we are missing Erika. Let me see what happened to Erika. Well, guys, let's continue with our job. Right now, we are going to go to the manual. Okay? Vamos a trabajar un poquito con el manual. Let me see. Where do I have the manual, 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 manual? Oh, Hold on. This is not, this is not, this is not. Oh, right here. Okay. Let me make it a little bit bigger. In the manual, as you can see, it's perhaps a little bit easier. You have on, let's see, Cesar, help me reading the sentences that appear under on. Léame las que aparecen abajo de on, please. Okay. On Saturday. On Saturday. On January 20, 23rd. Okay. On Monday, February 5th. 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 On Wednesday morning. Okay, perfect. Uh, Jennifer, 
please read for me the ones that go with in. In May, in 2018, in the summer, in the morning. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Daniel, please read the ones that appear under at. At 2.13. Okay. At noon. Perfect. At night. Yes. At midnight. Excellent. So you see we have on Saturday, on January 23rd, on Monday, February 5th, on Wednesday morning, in May, in 2018, in the summer, in the morning. At 2.30, at noon, at night, at midnight. Okay, guys, now we have an exercise here. Let's check the exercise. The exercise says, hello, Fatima, are you busy? What will go here? Que vaca. Oh, on Monday. Okay, thank you guys. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There's a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. It starts at, in. at, at 6 30. At. Perfect. Excellent. At 6 30. I work until 5.45, but I can meet you at, at 6 on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There's another presentation, but it will be in, in. in March. On, on Sunday. On Sunday. And I camp that day. Perfect, guys. Excellent job. Well done. Muy bien hecho. Let's listen again. Hello, Farima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There's a presentation about it, and it sounds very interesting. It starts at 6.30. I work until 5.45, but I can meet you at 6.00 on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday, and I can't that day. Now, everybody, please listen, read, and repeat after me. Hello, Fatima. Hello, Fatima. Everybody, todos, por favor. Hello, Fatima. Hello. Hello, Hello, Fatima. Fatima. Are you busy? Are you, Are you busy? Are you busy? On Monday afternoon? On Monday, Monday afternoon. 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 Do you know about the new product? Do you know about the new product? The new product? The new product? That the company? That, that the, the company, company launches. 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 There's a presentation about it. There's a presentation about it. Out. Out. There's. There's. There's a presentation about it. There's a presentation about it. And it sounds. And it sounds. Sound. Sound. Very interesting. Very, Very interesting. interesting. It starts. It starts at, start at six thirty. I work until five forty-five. I work until five forty-five. But I can meet you. But I can meet you at six. At six. At six. At six. At six. On the corner 
on the, on the corner, corner of First Avenue, of First Avenue, and Main Street. Main Street. What do you think? What do you think? There's another presentation. There's another presentation. But it will be. But it will be. Will be in March, in March, March, on Sunday, on um, Sunday. Sunday, and I can that day. And I can that day. Okay, great, excellent, guys. No, no Questions great. about vocabulary? Yes. Preguntas del vocabulario? Questions? What about launches? Lanzamiento o lanza. Okay. That's why the question goes, do you know about the new product that the company launches? Que la compañía lanza. Okay. There's I. It means I. There's a presentation about it. And it sounds very interesting. It starts at 6 30. I work until 5 45, but I can meet you. Meet normalmente es conocer, pero también es encontrarse con alguien. I can meet you. O reunirse con alguien. I can meet you at 6 on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There's another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday, and I can't, I can't, no puedo, that day. And at the end, they say, let me know, bye-bye. Okay. Now, using the information from exercise two, page 35. Okay, we haven't done this activity yet. Listen up, what are we going to do? You're going to get in pairs. You're going to tell me, you're going to tell me the name of one of your classmates. You're going to tell me the activities, three activities that person do, does and at what time, okay? Three activities per person. What does it mean? That I will divide you in groups and you are going to talk about three different activities. Usted me le va a decir a su compañero tres actividades, ¿ok? Three activities that you do. And you need to be specific with the time, because when we come back, you are going to tell me about your classmate. Ready? ¿Listos? Ok, guys, let's see. Ok. You got your invitations already. Let's see, Daniel has moved. Quizás sería, I arrive my job. I arrive to my job. To my job and I start work. Yes. At A-I-M. A-M, A-M. A-M. Perfect. And I call my clients at 2 p.m. 4 a.m. Okay. At 4 a.m. Luego. Um, and then. Y luego. And, and then. And, and, and then. And then. Uh, 
en sí, salgo a las 5, como, de, I, o sea, I live at 5. I, I live at 5, um, Okay, ladies. And you, Eliana? In my activity, uh, go, I go, I go, I go to work. A I am. At, at A E M. At noon, ¿qué significa, perdón? Mm, a mediodía. And I go to the sleep uh, at 12 p.m. Ouch. And what time do you wake up, Jennifer? I wake up 5.30 a.m. Uh, and because so early, but I go to the sleep around 12 p.m. or 1 a.m. because I what my universe class ah so you are studying what do yes. you study i study a uh, industrial engineer engineering engineering okay what year are you in in canola tercero third 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 year so, heavy day. Very heavy day. Okay, you finish? Yes. Okay. In a minute, we are going to go out. Yes? Uh, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, you can say, take a lunch or have a lunch. It's better if you say, I have lunch. I have lunch. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, everybody's coming back. That's great. That's great. Excellent. Now, let's see. Andres, tell me about your classmate uh, about my uh, classmate uh, Vicente okay the Vicente uh, he arrived the your job that his job his a job his job 8 a.m. 8 a.m. I am. Uh, oh. He'll call uh, your clients. His at clients. It's clients 2 p.m. Okay. And take a, a dinner. Okay. He has dinner. He has dinner at 8 p.m. Okay, perfect. So, what about you, Vicente? And I work with Andres. Okay. Andres watch TV then 10 p.m. Okay. And he goes to sleep at midnight and he drink a cup of coffee at 10 a.m., 4 p.m and 7 p.m. Excellent, thank you very much. Anna, tell me about one of your classmates, please. Anna, your microphone. Go on, Cesar, teacher. Okay. Uh, 
they a saber six seven ayen ayen a drink a drink coffee okay he drinks coffee at a drink coffee at at ten ayen ten at ten ayen at ten at ten ayen I I take eight. Ah, he takes he takes. He ta he, he, well, excuse me. He takes my lunch at noon. Okay, thank you, Cesar. Tell me about Anna. Okay, Anna. She wakes up at four a.m. Perfect. She leaves to work at five a.m. Excellent. And she starts activities at 8 a.m. Thank you very much. Vicente, please. Hello. Tell me about your classmate. Um, I work with Andres. Okay, tell me about Andres. He, Andres, watch TV at 10 p.m. Right. And he goes to sleep at midnight okay and he drinks a cup of coffee at 10 a.m 4 p.m and 7 p.m thank you cup cup okay cup of cup. coffee cup of coffee look at me cup of coffee cup of coffee cup of coffee the f very short la f casi no suena ahí cup of coffee cup of coffee perfect Marcos, hello, Marcos. Hello, teacher. Tell me about your classmate. Uh, War with Jennifer. Okay, let me know about Jennifer. Cuéntame. Uh, Jennifer, you you go to work at seven a.m. He goes to work. He work. He go to work at 7 a.m. Okay. Uh, Jennifer, uh, she, she got out to lunch at noon. Okay, perfect. Y la tercera no le comprendí, teacher. Uh, she goes to sleep at midnight? Yes. Yes, she goes to sleep at midnight. Okay. Ella va a dormir a medianoche. Midnight. Okay. Thank you. Let's see, Mayra. Hello. Tell me about your uh, classmate. Iliana's activity are she goes to the work at 8 a.m. Okay. She brushes your team. No, no mind. A mí no me lo cepilla. Her, her, oh. her thing. Yeah, you know, her thing. My wife is at, woman. Punch me. <laughs> Please continue. Me. She, brush, she brushes her thing okay. at 6.30 a.m. She you. goes to sleep 11 p.m. Perfect, Mayra. Great. Thank you. Okay, Eliana, tell me. Tell me about Myra. Mm, My, Myra checks, checks the email at 2.30 p.m. Okay. Uh, she calls clients, clients. At, clients at 9 a.m. Okay, perfect. Uh, she drinks coffee at 8.30 a.m. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Thank you, Eliana. Please, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Hello, teacher. Tell me about your classmate. What? ¿Con quién trabajó? Cesar. Ok, tell me about Cesar. 
Is a go to work at seven. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. Let's see who's missing. Who's missing? Jennifer, you're missing, aren't you? Hello. Tell me about Marcos, please. Marcos wake up at seven a.m. Wakes up, wakes up. Wakes up. Okay, it's Marcos wakes up. At Marcos wakes up 7 a.m. Okay. He has English class at 8 p.m. He has. He has. He has English class at 8 p.m. Perfect. And he has a, he have a lunch at 1 p.m. Okay, he has lunch. He has lunch. Okay, you don't say he has a lunch. We say he has lunch. He has lunch at 1 p.m. Perfect, excellent. So as you can see, it's very simple. Now, guys, okay, let's see. I need you, I'll move you to the rooms fast. You will have one minute. You will ask your classmate for their birthday. The question is this one. The question is, when is your birthday? Okay, that's the question. When is your birthday? One minute. You will need to copy down the dates, but you are not going to be working in pairs. You are going to be in bigger groups, okay? In Julio's case, because he cannot use the microphone, he can chat in the group, okay? He can set a chat to the group of students where he is working with, so they can see. It. Okay, let me see, and I'm going to recreate the groups okay you ready yes yes okay guys hurry up When is your we, are, we are not under, understand. Oh, we do not understand. We do not understand. Okay, it's simple. Hey, Cesar, when is your birthday? On um, October. My birthday I, my is October, uh, October 24th. Okay. At, uh, Cesar's birthday. Look, Cesar's okay. birthday. October 24th. Okay. Okay. Mayra, when is your birthday? My my birthday is March 5th. March the 5th. Okay. That's what you're going to do. Ask each other. Like, let's see. Make it simple. Cesar, you ask everybody. And everybody's okay. taking notes. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. And you. And you, Jennifer. My birthday when? is April 20th. 20th. April. 
Okay. April 20th. April 20th. Let me see, let me see. Let me see. It is 20th. 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 
Uh, it's, <laughs> it's in uh, March. No. Oh, Ana, you messed it up. Se le confundió. Me confundí. Okay, no problem, Ana. When Wait, is your birthday again, Andres? Please. Andres, when is your birthday? My birthday is in April 23rd. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now let's see the other group. Let's check the other group. Uh, let's see. Cesar, please tell me Daniel's birthday. Okay. Daniel's birthday is in August 7th. Perfect. Thank you very much. Daniel's, tell me Liana's birthday. Your microphone, please. Liana birthday is Eight, eight. Okay, is in. Is in April. Eight. Perfect. Thank you, Ileana. Tell me Marco's birthday, please. Mar Marcos is on August thirty first. Perfect. Thank you very much, Marcos. Tell me Mayra's birthday. Your microphone, please, Marcos. Teacher, yo no recuerdo la fecha, pero lo, le voy a contestar una inventada. Okay. It's okay. Tell me, tell me. She has a um, fear day in July 6th. Okay, perfect. Remember, what we are focusing in is in the use of in. Okay, Mayra, tell me, when is your birthday, Mayra? My, my birthday is in March 5th. Okay, March the 5th. Okay, excellent. Mayra, tell me, when is Cesar's birthday? Cesar's birthday is in October 24th. Is that right, Cesar? Perfect, thank you. Yes. Excellent. Now, there's something that perhaps you will listen to all people. Aquí hay un detalle que quizás le van a escuchar a personas mayores. And it depends or people depending on when they learn English. Personas que dependerá de cuando aprendieron inglés. Like in my case, sometimes uh, if you ask me when is your birthday, I will tell you, oh, my birthday is in December the 17th. No lo escribo así, pero digo in December the 17th, okay? I say it's in December 17th, like that. But when I say it, lo escribo así, pero cuando lo digo, I say in December the 17th, okay? That happens with all people. Eso pasa con personas mayores. In my case, because uh, the person who taught me that was uh, an old Scottish guy que me enseñó a decir eso. Por eso fue una persona, I mean, he was like 70, tenía como 70 años, and he was from Scotland, y era un escocés. So I learned to say, oh, my birthday is in December the 17th. That's the way I say it, because that's how I learn it. But young people don't use it like that. Las personas jóvenes no lo usan así. So you can hear both, and both are okay. When spoken, cuando se habla. On written, never. Al escribir, nunca ponen el that. Okay? Just when spoken. Okay, let's continue. Let's see, I got uh, something here is vibrating. Okay. Let's continue, guys. Any question about the exercise? Alguna pregunta del ejercicio? We cool? Perfect. Let's continue. Now we're going to make a small game. Let's see. Let's see. I got two games, but let's choose just one. 
Okay, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Right here. Prepositions of time. Let's see. He had lunch and we are going to be assigning activities. Let's see. The first one. Ana, tell me. In, on, at. ¿Cuál es la correcta, Ana? In, uh, eh, on. Let's see. Uh-oh. No, Ana. Another one. Escoja otra. At. Oh. Perfect. Thank you. Vicente, you are next. Christmas is on. Yes, remember, this is British. In British, you use okay. like that. Excellent. You remember. Se recordó. Andres, you are next. Santa comes to town. Christmas. Okay. Ah. 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 It's on Christmas. At Christmas. Christmas. At, At Christmas. Christmas. Okay, let's see. Cesar, you're next. Okay. He was born in 19... 87. Perfect. Excellent, Cesar. Let's see. Who's next? Who's next? Marcos, you are next. The bus. The is, bus. The bus. The bus. The bus is leaving in two o'clock. In. Let's see. Uh, another one. On. On. Mm. At, at, at. Okay. At. Perfect. Remember, when you refer to the exact time, at. Cuando se refiere a la hora exacta, at. Okay? At. Yes. Let's see. The next one is for uh, Daniel. Daniel. Hi, teacher. Please, what is the correct in, on, at? I don't hear you, Daniel. No lo escucho. American World Discovery at. At? 1,000. At. Uh, uh. No at. In or on? In, in, in. Oh, perfect. In 1492. Perfect. Let's see. Mayra, you are next. She, go, she goes to the beach on summer. Let's see. Uh-uh. In summer. Perfect. Ileana, you are next. At. Okay, please read the whole sentence. He arrived home arrived. at mid. He arrived. arrived. He arrived home at midnight. Let's see. Perfect. Thank you. Now, Vicente. Hello. Please. They had fun in his birthday. 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 Uh -uh. On his birthday. Perfect. Next, let's see. Next, next, next. Anna. Valentine's Day is? Valentine's Day is? In, on, at. In, in, February. 
Perfect, Anna. Excellent. Let's see. Andres, you are next. She got a present on Christmas Day. Perfect, Andres. Thank you very much. Cesar. They, they visited the zoo in the weekend. Okay, let's see. Uh -oh. On the weekend. Mm. <laughs> At, At the, the weekend. weekend. Okay. At the weekend. They visited. Visited. They visited. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Cesar. Let's see now, now, Ileana, next. She goes shopping in the morning. Perfect. Daniel, next. Hello, Daniel. The precious uh, on Sunday. Perfect, Daniel. Excellent. Wow, let's see. Next one goes for Marcos. They they went to the disco in, in Saturday night. Mm. Uh, uh, no in. On Saturday night. Perfect. Excellent, guys. Okie dokie, let's see. Simple, no? Sometimes it gets a little bit tricky because, I mean, we have seen just three, but they refer to many different things and we get confused. Es fácil confundirnos porque hemos visto simplemente tres, pero it gets, uh, I mean, they apply to many different things. Aplican a muchas cosas diferentes. Okay? But don't worry. We are going to, we still got time for another short exercise. Aún tenemos tiempo para otro pequeño ejercicio. What do you think if we practice more? ¿Qué les parece si practicamos más? Yes? yes. Great, great. Let's see, where is the other one? Oh, right here. Okay. Ah. Uh, See, right here. Okay, prepositions of time. Let's go. Mm, no, I'm sorry. Bus stop, in on at. No, I'm sorry, this one doesn't. In. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that one, it doesn't see well. No se ve bien. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I should have chosen another color. Debía haber escogido otro color de fondo. Okay, let's see. And tell me, tell me, Cesar, when is your anniversary? When is your my, anniversary? My anniversary is no okay oh you're it's in trouble in, now uh, <laughs> my anniversary is in uh august for for 14 no see 14. <laughs> oh Caesar, we're going to ask your wife don't worry that happens to me i have to check my my ring yo reviso el anillo to check out don't worry that happens that happens okay Let's see, let's see. Thank you very much. And Marcos, tell me, when, when was born your baby, your little baby? Para decir nació, como se dice? You say my baby was born. Was born, eh... Thirsten 
November. In November. In November. Triste. Triste. Thirteen. Thirteen. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see. Let's see. We're getting the people now. Hoy estamos atrapando a todo el mundo. Let's see. Mayra. Tell me, Mayra, when is your boyfriend's birthday? Um, um, my, um, <laughs> my friend's birthday yes. is in July 10th. Okay, good, good. That's a good girlfriend. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Vicente, tell me, when is your mom's birthday? My mom's birthday is in December 6th. Okay, remember Vicente, birthday, birthday. Birthday. Okay. Lo escribimos con I, pero lo pronunciamos como que fuese una E corta, birthday. Birthday. Perfect, excellent, excellent. Now, let's see. Uh, Ileana, tell me, when is your son's birthday? Her birthday is uh, June. June? Thing. Okay. What about your husband, Ileana? My husband's birthday is September 5th. Okay, September ya the 5th. The fifth. The fifth. Okay, great. Excellent. You see, Cesar, you got to be like Ileana. She got everything in her mind. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm joking, Cesar. I'm joking. Solo bromeamos. Let's see. And let's see. Andres, tell me, when is your mom's birthday? Okay, my mom's birthday is in March 26. No, no, no. 28. Okay. 30, 20. 20. 28. 28. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Never ask that to me. Nunca me pregunten eso. I'm pretty bad at dates. Let's see who's missing here. Daniel. Hi, teacher. You got a daughter. Tiene una hija, ¿verdad? No. A son? Yes. Okay, tell me, when is your son's birthday? My son's birthday is April. April. In, in, in April. In April. My son's birthday in April. A. Perfect, thank you. Let's see. Anna. Hello. Do you have a son? Tiene un hijo? Yes. Okay, when is your son's birthday? My be my baby August 17. In August 17th. Perfect. In August 17th. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Tell me, Cesar, what do you do in um, Saturday's afternoon? In Saturday afternoon, I sleep. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see, Cesar. You told me that. Repeat your sentence, please. In Saturday afternoon. Oh, I guess. would it be on Saturday afternoon? On Saturday. Yes. On Saturday afternoon, afternoon uh, I sleep. Oh, really? Cool. <laughs> nice. I, I cannot sleep at night. Ileana, tell me, what do you do on Sunday's morning? Sunday. Yes, on Sunday's morning. Mm -hmm. I sleep. You sleep? I sleep. Okay. What about on Sunday's afternoon? Tell me, what do you do, Ileana? Uh, as limpieza de la casa, no sé cómo es. The cleaning, I do the cleaning. I do the cleaning house. I do the cleaning in my house. 
I do the cleaning in my house. Perfect. Let's see. Mayra, what do you do on Sunday's afternoon? I, on Saturday afternoon, I watch TV. Okay, good. So she becomes a lazy girl. Se nos vuelve perezosa en ese día, she says. She just watches TV and relax. That's great. After a week of working, it's excellent. So let's see. As you can see, those expressions are very simple. Please remember, guys, we can use them in different contexts. Like the one that we use for most things is at. Remember that you use at at timetables, like uh, the meeting is at 8 a.m. You use at for parts of the day, at down, at sunrise, at midnight, at midday, at noon. You use at for midnight, night, at breakfast, at lunchtime, at dinner time. Remember that you use at for festive periods, at Christmas, at Easter. And let's see, at the weekend. You use in, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. We use in for months, years, and centuries. In September, in 1979, in the 21st century, we use uh, on for dates. I was born on December 17th. On 17th December or in December 17th, depending on the, if it's in British or American. Remember that you use on for the days of the week, on Monday, on Friday evening, on weekdays, on Tuesday night, on Saturday afternoon, on Sunday morning. You use on for parts of the days with adjectives. On a cold winter morning, on a sunny, on a sunny Sunday afternoon, Okay, right now, tell me, is there any question? No questions? Okay. Teacher. Yes, tell me. One question. In manual page 36, activity 4, Okay. Sentence on page because of yes, page 36 activity four four sentence with on because on January 23 on January porque está on January. Okay. Y and in the explanation we have in January. Mm -hmm. Because when sometimes, and that happens sometimes, when people is speaking, a veces cuando las personas están hablando, they go. Like when I speak, I say, oh, I was born in December 17th. But sometimes people say, I was born on December 17th. You can use both. As I told you, that happens because from British to American, sometimes they use, they mix the rules. Okay? A veces mezclan un poquito eh, el uso entre el británico y el americano. And exists the international. Y existe lo que es el inglés internacional. But most of the okay. time you are going to say in. I was born in December 17th. I was born in June 24th. Okay? Okay. Any other question? Thank you, Vicente. A good question. Una muy buena pregunta. If not, thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. 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 Good